The first time I went to the Antarctic was an amazing feeling for me. I felt like somebody had flown me to Mars, dropped me off. There was no sound. It looked like all the pictures of Mars with the rocks in the soil. When we first went there, our objective was go out and sample a lot of these extremely dry, arid desert soils, take those soil samples, put them in a plastic bag, and take them back and wash the animals away from the soil particles. And when we saw that there were all these tough little nematodes, roundworms, living there, moving around, active, and you start thinking, how in the world did they survive? You know, the nine months of brutal winter, and yet this is their ecosystem. By focusing early on the enormous group of animals called nematodes, Diana was able to call attention to these animals and their huge role in ecology and to help people understand how soils differ, how they're really made up, and what complex media soils really are. I think the thing that surprises people most about soil is when they take a handful of it. This is a lot of life that has evolved over time. There are food webs in there, there are interactions going on by the second to transform what we know as things above ground. I think the time for soil is now, that we see soil as a center of a lot of the major environmental issues. 20 years ago, we weren't thinking about the hidden life in oceans. Now we're thinking about the hidden life in soils and how that's important to the loss of biodiversity, loss of species, or to food security and CO2 release as a driver of greenhouse gases. Diana's work has really informed our global perspective on soil ecology. And having worked all over the world in different soil ecosystems, she's become a real proponent for promoting biodiversity and also pointing out what the negative impacts of global change can be and other human impacts on the environment. I think as the years go by, 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road, Diana will be regarded as a pioneer of viewing soils as living systems, of understanding them, of prizing them, and of managing them with ever greater precision. Soil is becoming really important. It's the nexus of a number of policies that have major environmental issues going. One of these is the Framework Convention for Climate Change, which is looking at the balance of carbon in soils, in the atmosphere. The second one is to look at desertification. We're losing land worldwide because of the, our treatment of land. And with that, soil starts to blow, areas become more desertified and more plants can't grow. And another one is just the loss of biodiversity. How can we grow crops if we're destroying the soils, changing the biodiversity in soil, and then we can no longer have fertile soils for our crops. She's really crafted fundamental contributions to our understanding of the soil ecosystem. Uh, she's recognized across the world and, and asked to come and comment on various ecosystem questions. So it, it just seemed to me that she was just a natural for the Tyler Prize. Soils are at the center of a lot of environmental challenges we've got going right now. Soils are complex and with the population increasing as it is, we're going to have more pressure on the world's best soils. So we need to bring them to the discussion table now. <laughs>